Hi there, Jamie from Time and Space here. In this video, we're going to be taking a first look at Applied Acoustic Systems Modular Synthesis Plugin, Multiphonics ZV1. Multiphonics allows you to explore the vast world of modular synthesis from within your computer, featuring a deeply customizable and intuitive interface and a full set of high quality modules to choose from. The Multiphonics modules include everything you need to get started on your own patches, from sound sources and sound modifiers to clocks and signal processors. And within these, you'll still find the unmistakable sound of AAS oscillators and filters. This is perfect for beginners, and there are plenty of advantages to software modular synthesis that aren't possible with hardware, which we'll discuss in a moment. But let's start by hearing some of the incredible, professionally crafted, pre-made patches that come with Multiphonics CV1. As you can hear, a very diverse palette of sound that you'd expect from modular synthesis, but still retaining the unique applied acoustic system sound. So here I have Multiphonic CV1 open with a blank patch, which always contains these four modules to start with. On the left here, we can switch between the patches view, which is where you can load either the factory or user patches, or the modules view, which you can see here contains all of the individual modules separated into categories. And we can simply drag and drop these in here on the main screen where we like or right click to remove them. You'll also see that when I right click we have the option to view online help and this sends you directly to the Multiphonics manual which is incredibly in depth and features full descriptions of every single module and how to use them. Another great way we found to learn is just by exploring the pre-made patches and seeing how they're put together. They're a really good source of inspiration and a new way of learning that isn't possible with hardware. Some additional features, you're able to change the view of the plugin, so if you need more space for patching, you can hide this keyboard on the bottom or hide the sidebars. And here you can also open up the settings and built-in effect sidebar. You can also adjust the wire opacity, which is really handy for visibility, and any custom patches you make can be saved and recalled. 
Again, both of these are features that could only be possible with software, giving Multiphonic CV1 an advantage. So what I'm going to do now is create a very basic subtractive synth patch from scratch, just to show you how easy it is to get started in Multiphonics. So to start this simple subtractive synth patch, I'm going to take a voltage controlled oscillator and a voltage controlled amplifier. Now I want to be able to play this oscillator using my MIDI keyboard and have it match the pitches I play on the keyboard, so we can use the keyboard module to do so. I'll take the pitch output of my keyboard into the pitch input of the oscillator. Next I need to tell the oscillator to only play when I press and hold a note on my keyboard, and this can be done with the gate output. So I'll take the gate output of my keyboard and plug it into the control voltage input of my amplifier. And for the output of my oscillator, let's use a triangle wave. And this can go into the audio input of my amplifier. Finally, the output of the amplifier can go straight to my output module. And now when I play some notes on my keyboard, this patch will respond with the correct pitches. Next, I want to be able to shape the envelope and filtering of the sound. So I'm going to bring in an ADSR module and this object resonating filter module. So instead of the gate output of the keyboard going straight to the amplifier, I want this to go via the ADSR. So I'll remove it from this CV input and plug it into the gate input of the ADSR. Then the ADSR output can go back into the amplifier control voltage input. Now I'm able to play a note on the keyboard and shape it using the ADSR just like this. Now to implement the filter into the patch, I'll simply take the oscillator output into the filter input and then the filter output back into the VCA input. Now I can use the filter in the patch. Finally, I want to modulate the frequency and object type of the filter, so I'm going to use two LFOs to do that, and take the triangle output of both of LFOs and plug them into the control voltage input of both the frequency and the object. Here we can dial in the amount of control voltage that is applied, and so I'm going to turn this up a bit, and also adjust the rates of the two LFOs so they're operating at different speeds. For more variety, we could also bring in a final LFO to control the rates of the two LFOs modulating the filter, and that the way we'll end up with a constantly moving filtered oscillator. So that was a very quick example of putting together a subtractive synth patch in a matter of minutes. You can see how much control you have over this plugin, and the decisions you make are entirely up to you depending on what sound you're trying to create. Experienced modular synth users will love the seamless transition you can make between your hardware and this plugin, as they behave so alike. Whereas for anyone new to modular synthesis, this is the perfect place to start. The interface is very intuitive, and with the detailed documentation and tutorial series that AAS provide, you'll be crafting customer modular patches very quickly. On top of that, this is a much cheaper option than investing in lots of hardware modules, cases and cables. For any more information, audio demos or videos on Multiphonic CV1, click the link in the description of this video or simply head to timespace.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.